Good morning guys, JCNA Double Sun back here with another Mad Mobile video. As you can see, Mad Mobile finally released the new Position Heroes. So as you see in my previous video, I did talk about Position Heroes. They did not come out yesterday, but they did come out today. Um, it's the same rating as the console with a 98 overall Delaney Walker, as well as a 97 overall Anthony Barr. So we could take here under more, um, there will be Position Hero Live Events. Um, ranging from 11 a.m., 5 p.m., 10 p.m., and 3 a.m. Eastern. Honestly, I don't know who's going to stay up till 3 in the morning, but obviously there's some people who will. Um, but obviously the, tame, the time will change depending on where you live. So moving on to the live event screen. As you can see right in the middle, it unlocks in one hour. Um, we do have a live event for Position Heroes. And it does say, yeah, it's a typical, but you earn one gold or better player for your first win and a chance at one gold or better player every time you win. Now this is a bit confusing, so I thought you would get the collectibles to put inside, not just the players, because the players you'll probably have to buy yourself, but I don't know if it's going to be like just a random gold or possibly elite player, or it's just going to be specifically a linebacker as well as a tight end, uh, because those are the sets that I'll be able to complete. So we'll see about that in one hour, I'll probably make another video um, later in the afternoon about that. So we're going to head over to sets here. Under players is where you'll find the position heroes. And then as you see, we do have Anthony Barr and Delaney Walker. We could first take a look at uh, Delaney Walker. Honestly, they're both the same. So as you can see, you need 50 gold tight end cards, which is quite a lot because the price did rise a bit. So you'll probably be spending around 3 to 4k per gold tight end. And for elite tight ends, you'll need 10 of them. And you'll need 5 position collectibles. These were the collectibles I thought you would be able to get from the live event, but apparently not. I'm guessing you have to pack them or something or buy them off the auction block. We could take a look at that later. And you'll need five elite trophies. So, I mean, a lot of them is just mostly gold tight ends. Um, and you also need 10 elite tight ends, so we can wait a little bit on that. As you can see, Anthony Barr will be the same exact thing. 50 gold linebackers, 10 elite linebackers, five of his specific position collectible, as well as five elite trophies. So we're gonna take a uh, look at the auction block right now, um, see how much these guys are going for. I'm pretty sure some people already completed the set. I can imagine them going like maximum by now for like around, I don't know, nine to 10 million. Um, we'll take a look at Walker first, 98 overall card. We'll see, obviously different servers, you'll have different um, cards pop up. But as you can see, yeah, right here, we do have one um, going for 10 million coin by now, as well as one for 9.5 million coin by now. Um, this one's currently bidding at 503,000 coins. And I'll show you the stats right here. In the meantime, we have 91 speed, 82 strength, um, good awareness, good pass block. He's got decent catch, impact block, run block. Um, the stats compared to Gronkowski, I'm pretty sure Gronkowski is a bit better than Delaney Walker, but Delaney Walker is still a nice card. So there's only two right now on the auction block. We're also going to take a look here at Anthony Barr. So his, we'll probably see a couple on the auction house as well. Um, and, okay, we'll just take a look at that one. because Yeah, there's only one on the market right now. So as you can see, 9.5 million again, and there's been 37 bids, and now it's up at 755,000 coins. So as you can see, you do need 96 speed, uh, he has 94 agility, 96 acceleration, um, 70 man coverage, 97 pursuit. His stats don't look all that great, I mean, he's definitely got nice speed and pursuit. But I mean, compared to 89 Dante Hightower, who I currently have in my lineup, um, I would expect him to have all green stats above Dante Hightower. I mean, it still looks like a pretty solid card. So we're going to take a look at those collectibles, those position collectibles, because I was confused on how do you collect them. So we're going to go under Elite Collectibles right here. And we got Network Timeout. Sorry about that. I'll have to log back in. Okay, right here. Go under Auctions. Here we'll go under elite collectibles. 
I guess we can type in bar for now, because um, it should be under elite collectibles, under bar um, for position collectibles. So there they are right here. Look at those prices. Holy moly. 2 million coins by now, the current bid for 200,000. I don't know how you collect these, honestly. I guess you pack them or something, because they're going 950k, 900k, 750k, 680k. They're dropping in price as you move down, but it seems like it's definitely above 500k per each collectible. Actually, we got one for 400k. So they're actually a lot cheaper now, I mean 300k. 300k looks like the selling point, as you can see right here, this is the end of it. So they're obviously crazy expensive, you need 5 of these. So if you're saying you're paying 300k, right, um, times 5, that's 1.5 million coins right there, without any of the gold players and elite players. So that's quite a hefty set for us to complete. Um, I'll be coming out with another video later today. I hope this, guy's, uh, this video will help you guys just to realize how hard it is to complete these position hero sets are. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.